Uh, no, they're not weighted. What are they called? Are they weighted? Oh, it's offset. Right, right, right. Offset. Thank you. All right. Um, let's get... All right, so ultralight will be in one. Light will be in two. And yeah, I actually don't really, I don't, if I'm, if I'm going to run it that low, I actually don't think that's the, um, the, the rod I want to use. That might be our backup in case we just like need to go heavier at night or something. But I think I just want to use like a, um, maybe an Abora. I mean, really the smart, the smart move is just to use a super duty, right? So there's no bonus. I mean, Like we're going so light. That. Um, yeah, I think this make, makes the most sense. All right, offset hooks. So I do need one more. Really light one. And then is the is the weight actually more about the size of it? That's a little heavier. Do one of those as well. And then we want the um, kind of want to do the O five. I'm going to start off at least with two of the O5 and one of the O3. Who makes those soft lures? Heaven Creek, that's right. All right. So we need a couple backups here. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing a we're doing a comp right now. If you want to join, we're going um, total weight Volga Xander. Uh, apparently, what people have been doing is drop shot rig. Uh, I think what works the best is what I'm hearing is around six point four. Um, on your leader size, but I'm going to try it three different leader sizes myself. Uh, so sinkers for, nope, for jigging rigs. Yeah, here it is. So I need another small one. I don't know that it has to be that small though. Um, let's see. Ultralight test goes up to a five. Okay, we actually might need. All right, so this one will do the five, right? And then this one will do the th six. And then this one we're doing the five again. And this is the heavier one. Because this one will be holding, so most catfish, if we catch like six and less, we should be able to just kind of pull in, right? Should be fine. Well, thanks for the follow, Kendall, and greetings. You got a seven kilo cat on a Super Duty? Okay. Passwords M dog M D A W G, um, no cap. All 
All right, if anybody is wanting to join that has not yet joined, let me know, but we're going to start pretty soon here. Pretty soon. Uh, apparently, by the way, you want to go down to the 4.5 holes, what I'm hearing. And we're going to be drifting, not uh, not trolling, drifting, or not spin fishing or whatever. We're drifting. I forgot where I am here. All right, Sura. Uh, we'll get in the nicer boat. So cheap here, right? For boat tickets. If you're used to Archie, that is. round thanks for the uh, for the follow i appreciate it yeah so we are pretty close though i mean you just kind of drive down here to the other side of this island Alright, if everybody wants to go ahead and ready up when you have a chance. I'm not seeing any other messages that other people want to join, so... Uh, yes, Turbo. You can definitely ask any question you want. I'll do my best to give you an answer. Wait, what? Interesting. S feels like I'm reeling in forever and my reel can't keep up. Can you, can you explain that? Hey, what's up, Jeff? Um... I think everyone is using a six hook on these hooks, Kendall. So it's 622 right now. If we can start by 1800, that would be really cool. Alright. We're pretty close to where I would want to start drifting it, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of get everything set up here. In fact, go ahead and cast stuff in the water. Let it sink down. I'm going to want a very low friction break on these guys. Ah, uh, can't do it, thigh smack. And I would have loved to have had, had you in this comp, but uh, sorry, I can't do it. Uh, we're after Volga Xander. Yeah, let me know if you want to join real quick. I mean, we're, we need to start soon, but we've got one silver buy-in, and we're drifting Sura uh, with, you know, maggot, uh, soft bait lures, drop shot rig, size 6 hooks. For the most part, you want small leader, like 6.4 to 10 range, but I am trying one at a little bit higher. People see Sir and they're confused why we're here. Yeah, for sure. Do you have to recast after a comp starts? No, I don't believe so. It's just as long as the fish isn't on there, you know. If the fish is nibbling or, or on there, then you're then you're um not it's not gonna count. Alright, we're gonna try to start in fifty five minutes. I'm just like circling on the anchor right now. It's hard to describe, but I'm using the... I wish the really nice boat was here so we could um, be standing and, and moving around a little bit. FD30 with the cheapest reel and the Spark 3000. Cheap sinker, size 8 hook. When I hear the bell, it seems like I never actually hooked the fish. And then when I try to reel it in, it feels like maybe it's getting hooked on the ground. Yeah. Oh, really, thigh smack? Okay. So, couple things. One, you don't don't pull the hook as soon as you as soon as you hear the bell. That's just telling you that the fish is nibbling, not necessarily that it's on yet. You need to wait till it actually takes the takes the bait and is a more consistent pull. And second of all, you could try to use whatever like sinker or cage for bot for ground bait you're using. You could try to use the lightest one possible. It sounds like your cage is just kind of dragging the bottom or your your sinker 
and your reel doesn't have enough power to pull it in very consistently. Yeah, I'll show you the map. Yeah, that's also true. Big Drock makes another good point. Adjust your friction brake with those Spark 3000s. You got to really put some power behind it to reel it in good. Yeah, good point. What Wrangler said is really important. Instead of reeling, just hit R to see if a fish is on or not. All right, guys. Well, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to reel these in instead of having them in the water. And I'm about to start us. All right, everybody ready? Here we go. Good luck. Have fun. Uh, I don't really care what direction I'm facing when I'm drifting, I suppose. I just want to make sure that we get, once we get to the hole, that we get to, um, that we're pretty much over the hole. You just spent $120 on an in real life carp gear. Oh, nice. That sounds fun. Level 29, 70 silver and Nargas. High trophy and bite rate. Are you bottom fishing? You want the bottom fish? You know what I actually wish I had done was cast them that way. So, so awkward of me, wasn't it? We're drifting towards them right now. All right, let's see how the um, how the drift is going here. Are we okay on the path we're on? I think so, as long as we don't the current doesn't take us off the hole here. All right, so the ultralight is going to be our um, number one. So I need to remember that. That's the wrong Xander. What would have been next level here is to go ahead and put a couple of, um, of our lights out on the shore. So one at the place where we want to start drifting and then one at the place where we want to stop drifting. And then we could just do a quick look over to see if it's time to, instead of checking the map constantly. I think there's a fish on over here. Hubble asks, are the fish you're going for good money? I can't remember. Um, I think they're okay. I don't know that they're great. There's our first Volga Xander. It's more just a fun fish to be able to catch. Especially if they're pretty active like they apparently are right now. You're also likely, somebody in the comp will probably trophy one, I would think. It's not that unusual to trophy Volgazander. Bottom feeder fishing, no PVA, level 29. Amber? Active amber spot, but just use corn and spot it if you can. If you can't spot it, maybe try method. Use ground bait. All right. Sneaky has over three kilos of Volgazander already. 
Wait, 1.38. Is that a trophy? What's trophy size of Volga's? Volga? Does anybody know off the top of their head? I've, I've got to be... Yeah, it's time for us to go back. They marker at 400 and chat. That's kind of like Blue Bream, right? Don't Blue Bream do that too? Is it Blue Bream? Or is it White Bream? Something does it where it's like they'll show up in chat and it wasn't even a marker size. 1.4? Hey, there's our first marker. I love it. Oh my goodness. That's a nice one. 1 1.25. All right, so for you all that have been doing this, would you turn around now? You would, right? Like when you're way past the hole, you don't keep going, right? turn around okay and I think it's worth Why did I just put the anchor down? There's just no way to watch both the lines, right? All right, so if something has a fish on it, probably this one has a really small one. Definitely. So I probably should have gone left a little bit because we're now drifting like we're going to be drifting the the right side or I should have gone right. Whatever. We're going to be drifting the wrong side of this thing right now. Not the wrong side, but a little bit on the edge. That looks like a perch. That is a perch. Is that how I know that I've got too big of a leader on? Pretty nice bite rate, right? I mean, we're not waiting very long before the next fish is on. That is not a Volga. Not a Volga Xander. Pretty nice asp though. With a bright bite rate like that, I wouldn't be drifting. I do wonder how it would be just standing here casting for him. I mean, that's definitely been a thing, right? Just jigging for Volgazander at Sura. Uh, I don't know. We're catching, people are catching so many. I mean, look at the weight. Well, Sneaky has five and a half kilos of Volgazander already. It's pretty quick. Oh, no, Blunty. Fat cat. Guess it's gonna happen to all of us eventually, right? All right, that's nice. That's actually a Volgazander on our bigger leader, so that's encouraging. Um, 
13.8 liter getting spooled. All right, I'm gonna go just a little bit farther before going back up. Ooh, nice one. A Doris, which is gravy, right? Right? I always get confused on this. Yeah, okay. I assume it's worth pulling them up because again you want to be um, aren't we going to like just pass that boat basically Yeah. That was quick. Maybe almost good enough that we don't need a third rod out, but... That's a nice one, 1 1.2. That was on the light setup, not the ultralight. That was on the the, uh, the light setup, and it was also on the red maggot, not the green one. I think that has a fish on it already, right? Totally does. Uh-oh. One of them's pulling. I think it's the other. Oh, it might have been this one, actually. All right, that's not a Volgazander, I'm assuming. Oh, it is. Okay, that's weird. That just felt stronger. They got a little fight to them, don't they? That's kind of a cool little fish. Oh, man, we're catching some Volgazander. <laughs> Holy cow. Is this like the hot time for him or something? Oh, we're pulling away.
Honestly, I think I would have enjoyed this just as much if we had just done um, maximum weight instead of total weight. Total weight's fine, but it's also fun just to see like, okay, who's going to hit the trophy, you know? Oh, it's just almost not worth having the third rod out, right? Until it is. I mean, if you just don't get that quick bite, it's worth it maybe. But we've definitely caught a couple fish on the third rod. I don't think we've had a 1.4 yet. We've had some north of 1, but not 1.4. What's up, Clada? Sneaky's catching back up. It seems like since we passed midnight, for me at least, it slowed down a little. So, so far we've got seven markers. Was I supposed to send you PVA for Amber and forgot to? The strawberry one? That's what I was using, was it yesterday or two days ago? Well, I do think I'm catching the highest bite rate on my ultralight line. So is that because of the smaller leader, the uh, green maggot versus the red?
Let's let's decrease the leader size on this one, I guess. See if it helps at all. Wrong Xander. Yeah, I've had one wrong Xander so far. I haven't had a catfish yet. I mean, it's got to be coming, though. Milo just said, I think I got a cat. I feel like you drift so quickly. Not that far of a distance, I guess, but... You got a nice burbot. That's awesome. Wait, what are you saying, Wrangler? All on red maggot? You're just using red maggot? Is that what you're saying? Oh, nice one, Laza. Loza. What? Blunty, you got a 20 kilo catfish? You think the catfish are all liking the red maggot? Interesting. I did see, I saw several of your posts. Which trophy are you talking about? We looked at them earlier in the stream, I think. Yeah, you're totally welcome to. That's what it's there for, so I appreciate it. Good question. I'm not sure, Lindsay. Does lighter line cast further with lightweight lures? I think mostly it's dependent on your the test and the rod and reel you're using, but I don't know. You call it frame side trophy? Nice. I caught a pretty nice uh, trophy carp today. You'll have to go back and check out the VOD, Clada. It's earlier in the stream. It was a nice one, though. Test, line diameter, and material. Uh, Adrian, after this comp, let's see, we've got, four. yeah, I, no, I'll probably be done after this, but yeah, we're, we're going to hang out with some friends this afternoon or later this afternoon. So this will probably be it for today, but tomorrow I'll be on perhaps a little earlier and perhaps a little longer.
What what happened there, Gravy? <sighs> you know what I mean, Thigh Smack. Come on now. Yes, I'm using both red maggots on my ultralight green maggots on i haven't oh got you gravy i haven't caught a um fish on this third rod in a while though i don't know that it matters what fish is on here i can switch this one to the red maggot so then it'll be two red maggots and one green i don't know oh i've got fish on both now fish are waking up Overall, even across chat, I mean, that was pretty slow overnight, right? What, Ty just caught an eel that way? That's amazing. I actually don't think I recast this one because we're so close to the end. Nice job, Sneaky. Wranglers up there, Loza, Big Drock, Fortune, Todd, Gravy, Strider, Milo. Lots of Volgazander being caught at the moment. Round says, Where are you from? I'm in the, um, in the US, obviously, and then I'm in the state of Georgia. What about you, Round? Where are you from? Telescopic rod is just the, you know, like a, the, the stick that you're fishing with, with a line and a float on it. Bolo, you actually are using a reel as well. Lithuania, nice. Matrod's very similar to a bolo, except better. <laughs> but same concept. I mean, you're still using the, um, you're using a reel, and then you have a particular type of float that you're using. No worries, Turbo. You can ask me any questions as you want. We're starting to get the asp again. So we're back to kind of like the first time we drifted down, we're back to sort of the right side of the hole because we didn't go left at the end there. What color are you catching the cats on Blunty? Hey, what's up shrimp? Uh, we're catching Volgazander right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And that is on red. 
Wrangler might be right. Has he? Whoa! Has anybody caught a cat on um, on green? <laughs> Wrangler's like, oh no, M dog, that's on. That's on red. All right, so now the question is, do we just? We hope for the best here. You've caught cats on green as well, Gravy? Okay. So at that high of friction break, we have absolutely no, we're not even slowing it down, right? So. going to sleep soon I think we just um, yeah open the bale and try to let it get off it will eventually right oh good luck on your exam Test it one more time. Does that seem like a cat to you guys? I think it is. We're not. It looks like we're lifting it, but we're not. It's because we're trolling towards it, right? And it's hardly moving. It's got to be cat. Todd caught a catfish on white. Can't get away from him. Sterlet. I think it could be a. I could. I think it could be a big Xander. We've also seen the ass, but I don't think the ass would would swim like this, right? I just... Yeah, I, I mean, I think the truth is, whatever it is, we would not get it in during this comp. So. Trophy zebra. If I thought that I could in a reasonable amount of time, I would. But I don't think that's happening. Kind of surprised it hasn't gotten off by now. Open bale. It's lodged in its jaw. Seems like it. It's just right there. Yes, that's true. Um, that's a good point. I mean, nothing is that expensive here.
Do we just cut it? I mean, it was bound to happen eventually, right? How'd you cut the line? Held down X. I actually think we want to get a little farther over here before we start drifting. All right. Let's see if we can catch another couple Volgazander. So I have no idea about the catfish on uh, whoever was asking that on, on tuba. Uh, and these cats on Sura, for the most part, are probably really small. Two trophies in a row? Everyone's trophying right now? Not me, I'm fighting cats. On ultralight. I don't think this is a cat, but it might be just a small cat. Did you mean to release it, Wrangler? Oh, by accident. I mean, once again, I'm just not picking it up at all I just don't I don't know that this is a cat though later Kyle I can see him. So that's a 5.1 catfish. Ugh. Ugh. That's awesome, Wrangler. I own the catfish. Not really. The catfish own me, I think.
probably going to need to scoot over a little bit. We're going to be out of the out of the pit. Hey, we got another one. Let's see here. So with seven hours left, Sneaky still in first. Wrangler's hanging in there. That trophy helped a ton. Fortune, Loza, Big Drox in fifth now. Todd, Blunty, Strider, Adoris, Gravy. Nice. Uh, yeah, we're going for a few Volga here, Steve. I hit two cats in a row, though. Not the... Not the best luck there. What happened, Wrangler? You shouldn't have fought that cat. Yeah, Blunty, I think I think you're right. Especially since the bait, the lure at least is really cheap. I don't know if Volga are worth enough to just, you know, cut off a bunch of too many, but for the comp for sure. Thought you had a leather trophy, but it was a 28 mirror. Uh, you're on your alt account? Gotcha. I'm really curious to see how much these fish are worth. I just don't remember. That's a perch. Big perch. Oh, Volga trophy is 55. Okay. That's not bad. So it's it's um better than like Crucian Gibble. I knew it wouldn't be too much because I can tell, I mean, the XP is pretty low, right? For how, how small and painless? Yes, definitely. I agree. So you, Steve, you're now Volkov on your alt and almost to Seversky, huh? Both your trophies have been on the 005. Yeah, I've got the 005 on both of my other lines. I've still got the red one on my main, but on my third one, but... If there's any chance that the green ones are less likely to get catfish, I don't know if that's the case or not, but if there's any chance.
Oh yeah, you you could also use the. Is that what somebody was saying earlier? They're using the foam rubber green one. And I also saw people catching them on the classic Chad 006, right? All right, I'm out of 05s, guys. I'm out of 05s. I'm also way far down the, the river here. We need to run back up. Yeah, that's right, Thunder Chicken. We're drifting for Volgas. Oh, that's interesting copy. That's interesting. Try the the chat the classic 003 shad. Since we're not catching much on the third line anyway. On a, I've been on a run of uh, less than marker size for a while now. Small catfish on green. Small cat on green.
Um, we're using the six. I think I think most people are using a six offset. And um, yeah, it's at, at times for me, it's been going really well. And then at times it's definitely slowed down. Did have a couple of cats, but. Oh wait, yeah, we're pretty far down now. Yeah, I had to I had to buy some new ones too. So I've only had one fish on the classic shad so far, and it was a um, it was a asp, I think. Isn't that what I called on that? Yeah. There we go. What's going on with the TV? Doing it oh, has it? All right, Wrangler, the A-class fighter has been unlocked. So hopefully I can figure out if it was actually sent to the right platform or account or whatever later tonight. <laughs> I was trying to figure out why didn't one 24 hour boat ticket. Oh yeah. We set out here for a while before it started. Didn't we? Sound good. That's no cat, though, right? Milo said the last marker was 40 minutes ago. Wow. I know, I've been hitting a lot of small ones lately, too. Which is why I'm going to chase down this fish. Or try to. I think this is a Xander. 
being asked, though. It's, I guess it's swimming pretty fast. You're trying five kilo liter? I would also be curious about using a smaller hook. With the size of these Volgazander, they don't need sixes necessarily. And if, oh, that, does that have a fish on? That does have a fish on it. Let's hope it stays. Call a common carp on a float rod? Yikes. Yeah, that's not what you want, is it? Oh, that's unfortunate. That's a little baby Xander. So that was intentional. You were fishing with potato cubes. We don't really want to be on this side of the current of the fish, but I guess let's go ahead and address that. If we lose it, we lose it. That is an asp.
All right, so who's our winner? Wow, look how close. Good job, Sneaky Wooly. Good job, Wrangler. Fortune. Everybody did good. That was fun. Space bar for the net. Well done. All right, top three. If y'all want to send me an in-game message for a color, I'll send you a ancient boily. Water body record UL ASP. Dang. All right, see you, Kendall. Strike, uh, no. Skirk, thanks for the follow. Uh, what colors are there? We have brown, green, orange, pink, red, and yellow. Turbo, thanks for the follow. Wrangler said orange, yellow. Now y'all remember, these do not work anymore for fishing. They're just for fun. They're ancient and old. All right, sounds good, Gravy. Yeah, I'm gonna bounce here in a second too. Let's go see how much these, um, let's go see how much these Volgas are worth though. Trying to see if we get one more real quick. That's fine. Yeah, and at the time, like for me, it was a decent amount of silver I spent on those boilies. Yeah, I didn't have thousands of silver at that point anyway. I liked using that drop shot. That's something I haven't done a lot of. That was fun. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's nice. Yeah, it is a grind turbo. So there's a relevant cafe order. 193 silver, that's better than I expected. Um, wait, where's the cafe here? It's this building, right? Oh yeah. 
How nice is that? And two of them weren't even markers for that order. 55 silver. Wow. Fifty-five silver. Yeah, that was a fun comp. Very different. Those asps were pretty good. I, I, I think that's, yeah. It's a big percentage of the silver, just the two asps. If a higher percentage of the Volgazander were markers, that would be pretty sick right but it is a high percentage chance of non-markers at least for me it was uh, but overall not bad not bad at all <laughs> all right so I'm going to take off for today. Thank you guys for hanging out for the support. And uh, hopefully it'll work out to see you tomorrow. But tight lines and uh, had some fun comps today. So I look forward to seeing what tomorrow brings. I will catch you all soon though. Thanks again. Wow. 350. That's nice. Yeah. Thank y'all.